Hey guys, welcome to another Logic Pro X tip, and this is about the audio record path. Now I've gone into this in more detail. Um, on our channel there is the complete playlist of videos called Audio Tracks and Audio Recording in Logic, and it covers everything to do with audio tracks and audio recording in Logic, including setting up your audio interface correctly, etc. But this, we're just going to just show you this, um, the audio record path in Logic. Now, I've got a new project I've just created here. I haven't saved it yet. You create a new project. Logic forces you to create at least one track. So I'm going to create an audio track receiving on my microphone input. Boom. Now I'm going to immediately save the project before I've recorded anything. File, save. And I can save it in the default Logic location on my main hard drive, but a lot of us are using small SSD drives now. And if we're recording a lot of audio, our SSD drive will get filled up very quickly. So you can save your project obviously somewhere else. So I'm going to save it on my big external USB 3 drive, which is a Western Digital My Book. Right? And I'm going to make a new folder and call it AAAA New Song. Right? Uh, and create. So I've created a folder on the my book and now I can save my project I'll call it new underscore song underscore one. I can save my project as a package or a folder and there's very little difference between them. It's just a different way of wrapping everything up. So if I save it as a package now there I've saved the project as a package and if we look, there's the folder on the My Book, look inside, and there is the project package saved. And it's a package, not a blue folder, it's a package. So you get a logic icon and the title. But if you right click and do show package contents, this is what's inside it. It's hidden, but it's this is all what's inside that package. And there's the media folder, and inside that is audio files, right? Okay, now. So we've saved um, the project as a package. There it is. Now, if we look in File, Project Settings, Recording, this is our audio record path. So for this project, which I've just saved as a package, the audio record path for only this project, because these are the project settings, not the general settings for Logic. These are the project settings only for this project. The audio record path here is empty. That's the default. That means that any audio I record in this project will be saved in the package where I've saved that package. Right? So I leave it like that. And I'll record some audio. La 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 la. La 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 There's the audio. And you can see it's called new underscore song underscore one, the same as the title of the project, underscore one hash o one. And if we look where the project, there's the project saved as a package on the big hard drive, external hard drive. Look at the contents. Inside media, inside audio files, there is that piece of recorded audio. So the audio by default is being recorded in the same place as the package, inside the package. Okay? All right. Now, let's step out of that. Now I'll delete that and delete it from the disk so it's gone completely. Now I'll resave the song file, save as. I'm going to save it in that same folder on the My Book. But I'm going to save it this time as a folder, and I'm going to call it New Song 2. But I'm saving it not as a package this time, but as a folder. Save. And now if we look on the hard drive, there's the original one saved as a package, and there's the new one saved as a folder. And the only difference is the package you have to right-click to show the contents, and in it is the different folders. And when you save this project as a folder, it is a folder, which you can just open up as usual. right? So now I've saved the project as a folder with a different title, this one. And again, the audio record path is the same as the project. So when I record audio now for this newly saved project, New Song 2, 
the audio will be saved inside this folder because I saved it as a folder in the same location in, inside this folder on the big hard drive. Here we go. La 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 Right, and there it is. This new bit of recording is called new underscore song underscore two underscore one hash o two and it'll be in the folder because the record path is the same as the project and our project is saved as a folder. There it is, the, the, the file inside the audio file folder. So whether you save your project as a package or a folder, the default is that any audio recorded with that project will be saved in the package or in the folder, wherever that is saved. So if you're doing a lot of audio recording, it's better if you've got an SSD drive to have a big external USB 3 drive, save your projects there, leave the project settings on the default, and all audio for every project will be saved either in the package or in the folder on the big hard drive, like that. But the other option is, there is another option. Let's delete this backspace, delete it from the disk. The other option is we can go into the, we've saved our project on, let's say, the SSD drive in the usual logic location, but we don't want our audio to be saved there because for the project when we record, because it will use up the SSD space. So we go to the project settings, we go to recording, and we set a different folder for where the audio will be recorded to. Set. All right. And I'm going to make a folder on the My Book. And this is going to be a new folder only for audio. And this can be for all the audio for all my projects. So I'm going to call it AAAA underscore My Logic Audio Files. Create. Choose. And that is now the record path for this project doesn't matter where I save the project. I can save the project on the SSD drive. The project, whether I save it as a package or as a folder, the project itself uses hardly any space. It's just a data file. It's the audio that uses up the space. So I can now save my project wherever I like, and the audio I record will be recorded to that folder on the big hard drive. Boom. So now let's record audio. La 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 There's the piece of audio recorded. It's called My New, uh, new Song 2 1 hash 3 There's the project folder, but we look inside. The audio is not there. The audio file folder is empty because the audio path has been set differently. The audio path is now in this folder. AAA My Logic Audio Files. And there it is. There is the file recorded to a different location. Now, this project is not saved in that same folder or location. But every time the project loads, it knows the, the audio for the project is in this folder on the USB hard drive. So that's your options. Yeah, You can either leave it default every project you do, which is probably the easiest, and just if you're using a small SSD drive as your main drive on your computer, get yourself a cheap USB 3 external hard drive, save all your projects there, and all the audio will be saved to that big drive. Your SSD drive will not fill up. Or well, the other option is make a folder on that big USB external drive. Set that every time as your audio record path, but save your projects to the SSD drive. And then all the audio will be put onto the big USB drive. The projects will be on the SSD. And every time you load a project, it knows that the audio for that project is in the big disk in the folder. That's the other option. You can do it like that. And then one last thing, when you go to save the project, you don't need to tick this save copy following files into your project. You don't need to do that unless you're saving it to be exported to somebody else to work on, in which case you want the whole thing all together, uh, the audio files, everything. Don't tick that because you're just saving the, 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 the project as either a package or folder. The audio files will live in whichever folder you've, you've told Logic to put them in when you record. And um, every time you load the pack, the song, as a, the project as a package or folder, when you load it, Logic knows where the audio files are. So you only need to tick this when you're saving and, and any of this other stuff if you're going to export all this to somebody else and you want to make sure every bit of content is there in the project package or folder to give to somebody else or to transfer to another computer you own 
so that the whole lot is there. But otherwise, there's no need to tick any of this, right? Logic will load all the audio files and any samples and stuff from their default locations, and that includes wherever you have set the audio record path to, okay? But, as I said, finally, the default is to save it in the same location as the package or the folder where the project is. And if you do that and you're using an SSD, the best thing is to get an external USB drive. If you're doing any audio recording and you've got an SSD Mac, it's always best to have an external USB drive because the audio is going to fill up that SSD drive really fast. So you need an external drive for the audio because otherwise your SSD will get clogged up pretty quick. Okay, there's the tip. Again, for the full, full tutorials on everything to do with audio recording and audio tracks in Logic, um, there's a link in the description below. It's on our channel, that playlist. Okay, I hope that's useful. See you for the next one.